plus one. The Lord be praised for the victory over the works of darkness. Happy Easter. This morning we will be looking at a topic titled The Cross Speak to Us. Now this season is the season of Easter and this season is a season of sober reflection and great moment of us celebrating the love of God in our life. The cross speaks to us. That is our topic and we'll be reading our text from Hebrews chapter 12 verse 24. The blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of her Abel. Has the cross of Christ ever spoken to you? Have you ever heard it in message? The cross of Christ preaches. The cross of Christ speaks. The blood of the cross speaks. It has something to say. Have you heard it? The writer to the Hebrews thank God that this blood speaketh things better than the blood of Abel. Spoke. You remember the story of Cain and Abel, the first two sons of Adam and Eve, and the story of how Cain slew his brother Abel and shed his blood, and the story of how Cain slew his brother and shed his blood. He murdered him, and the blood of Abel spilled there upon the ground. Spoke as it cried out for vengeance punishment and retribution the blood of Abel spoke and God tell us through the writer to the evil that it is not the blood that you and I have come to we have come to a blood of sprinkling and speaketh better things than that of Abel this is why all these men in the New Testament rejoice in it this is why the saints of the ages rejoice in it. The blood speaks and it speaks the best thing that the world has ever heard. Let me call your attention to some of the things that the cross of Christ, the blood of the cross speaks and say to men and women today. In other words, let us listen to the cross speaking in the form of exposition. There is nothing that is so expand the truth of God to us. As the cross of Christ. The Bible has found the same truth. The cross of Christ lay it open before us and make it speak to us. Have you ever regarded it as a sign and sat and listened to it? And have you ever heard what it has to say to you? What an exposition of truth there is in that cross on cover. Rehears a thoughts to ponder upon this morning. There is nothing that so expands the truth of God to us as the cross of Christ. That is His word. May the Lord bless His word in our hearts. Let us pray. Almighty God, faithful God, thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. I thank you for your deaths. Thank you for bringing redemption to me and my life. For making me whole. For restoring peace, joy, increase to my home. For coming to die for my sin. Now I'm free. Your cross has brought redemption to my life. Lord, I thank you. Because there is none like you. I give you glory because you have done more than enough for me. I will forever continuously serve you. Thank you, Father, 
for answering our prayers this morning. We pray that the light of our happiness that you have given to us, the light of joy that you have given to us, will not cease. In Jesus' name, Amen. Join me tomorrow for another exhortation. Till then, stay blessed.